Eight years ago, when I started reselling, I said to myself, nobody's going to buy used clothing online. Boy, was I wrong. All right, what's going on, guys? This is going to be another What's Sold video. This time, I'm going to give you clothes. I figured out I'm going to do a rotation of clothing one week, then shoes, then hats, then hard goods. So I get a good you know, mix of all categories, but each video will be specific to that category. So today we're going to look at clothing. Now, you can make some good money selling used clothing online. Thrift stores are full of them. You just got to know what to look for and be sure to run your comps and check your sell-through rates and you'll have fast selling items. So I'm going to put them up on the screen. I'm going to show you about 14 items. Now these are not all my sales. I just picked out some good brands that you can look for that not going to be big high dollar ones, but some serious, you know, right in the middle money that you can make. So I'm going to tell you what I paid for them, where I got them, how long it took to sell, what they sold for, and my approximate net profit. All right, first up, Lululemon. This is a great brand in women's and men's um, fitness athletic wear. And their yoga pants sell. And now I was surprised by these shorts. I found these at Goodwill. I paid $6.00. They took about a week to sell, and when I comped them, they were brand new $90 in that range. And I started getting lowball offers, $20, $30 at the most. And I said, hmm, the used ones are selling anywhere from $50 to $70. So I held out, and within a week, someone just bought them outright, $64.75 plus $4 shipping, and I netted approximately $49 on these. Next up, we have a pair of True Religion. These are men's. Billy was the style. I paid $1 for these at a local thrift store that always does $1 clothing. Took about one month to sell. Sold for $22 plus eight shipping. And I netted roughly $18. $18 is about my minimum that I like to make net on a pair of jeans. Here's a good brand, Levi's. Now, not all of them are going to be great sellers. You know, none of them are going to bring you big money. But you can get solid in the 20s. If you're paying a dollar or two, then it's still worth a pickup. But always run your comps because every style is going to be different. So this is a pair of Levi's Silver Tab. Now, they started making Silver Tabs again in modern. But the vintage ones do pretty good. These are a little bit on the lower end. They only sold for $23.75. But I picked them up for a dollar and they sold within one week. And I netted roughly $18. Okay, here's something that I always grab. And every time I have them, I'd say in the past year, I probably sold maybe seven pairs. And none of them last longer than a few weeks or so. So this is a pair of Dickies overalls. And I found these at the Goodwill bin, so I paid about $3 for them. They sold in three weeks for $25.75 plus $8 shipping. And I netted roughly $17. All right, here's another pair of Levi's. These I found at the Google bins also, so I paid about $2.50. Took one month to sell. These were new with tag, and they were at a $5.50 line. And sold for $28.75 plus $8 shipping, and I netted roughly $20. Okay, here's a brand that used to sell a little better, but you can still get decent money out of them. But again, not all the lines are going to sell. The brand is called Hudson, and on their back pocket or the logo you see like the, um, the British flag I paid one dollar for these at a local thrift store they took two weeks to sell now these were unique because they had a, they were cuffed as you see in the picture but they were made that way the cuff was sewn by the manufacturer to be like that uh, they sold for $26.75 plus $8 shipping and I netted roughly $21 all right here's a t-shirt Vans this was new with tag. I found it at the Goodwill bins. So maybe I paid 50 cents. Had kind of like a dark graphic on it. Sold in three days for $21.75 plus four shipping. And I netted roughly $17. Vans is a good brand. Whether it's sneakers, shorts, shirts. And I believe they make pants also. All right, let's look at some men's shirts. Thrift stores are full of men's polos and long sleeve dress shirts. Here is a Nike Dry Fit, which is a very good line. This was the University of Tennessee polo. It was like in mint condition. I think I paid a dollar for it. 
It sold within six days. Sold for $17.75 plus four shipping and I netted $13. Anything that has to do with sports, collegiate, or pro, um, they're always going to sell. All right, here's some Western shirts. Western wear is a good seller. You know, there's a big market for that, whether it's cowboy boots, Wrangler jeans, or Western, like, Pearl Snap shirts. The brand of these is Eli Cattleman. I found them at a local thrift for a dollar each. Sold in two days. I was really surprised. They were short sleeve Pearl Snap, and they were vintage. $22.75 plus $6 shipping, and I netted roughly $17. Here's another great brand to always look for. I've mentioned it many times, Vineyard Vines. They sell for rather expensive, brand new on their websites. So when they carry over to used, they don't sell for great money, but they sell. So this is a Vineyard Vines long sleeve t-shirt. I got this from my source, so it was free. Sold in three days, $14.75 plus four shipping, and netted about $12. Another men's polo, brand is Callaway, great golf brand. And this is the OptiDry Performance, kind of like the, the version of Nike Dry Fit. Picked this up for $2, sold in one day, $18.75 plus $4.50 shipping, and netted roughly $13. Another great brand, Peter Millar. Now this is the Peter Millar Summer Comfort. That's going to be, you're going to see that in the polos. That's their best seller. This was a Peter Millar Summer Comfort. It had an embroidery of a golf club, but that really doesn't hurt it because a lot of golfers don't mind that. Paid $4 for it, sold in one week, $23.75 plus $4.50 shipping, and netted roughly $16. Here's another Peter Millar, same day I bought it, $4. This one sold in four days for $23.75 plus $4.50 shipping, and again I netted roughly $16. And one more Peter Millar Summer Comfort, just to show you that they're good sellers. Uh, paid $4 for this one as well. I got all three of these at the same time. This one sold in three days, $24.75 plus four shipping, and then $16 again. So that's just some good brands to look out for in thrift stores. You see them all the time. Now, out of these items, my total buy cost was $32. And my net after fees and everything was $263. So I got my money back plus $263. 10 sold in under one week, 2 sold between one week and one month, and 2 took longer than one month. So clothing doesn't have to be long tail like everybody says. I say it all the time. If you buy smart and you comp them and you check those sell through rates, you can sell clothing quick and make some decent money. So I appreciate you watching. Hopefully you learned a brand or two, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.